Okay, Musing Beer here. Uh, welcome to my video for my uh, all grain, my batch number five. This is uh, my first uh, complete all grain. I've done a brew in the bag. This is the first time I've used my mash ton and done a, a full mash um, beer. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, welcome to my all grain video. This is uh, me checking out my different thermometers. Uh, and after testing them and separate things, I found that the candy thermometer was dead on, the meat thermometer was dead on, my digital thermometer that I've been using pretty steady was not even close to dead on. Uh, this is my strike water. Um, finally having my temperatures under control should help. Uh, four and a half actually it's like 15 uh, quarts is what we're striking and heat and strike to 166 I think it was the recipe isn't very complicated uh, it's uh, one I did with uh, Bruce Smith I originally did this recipe as uh, brew in a bag three gallon batch and this is the attempt to turn it into a five gallon all grain my first all grain and that's me obviously uh, lighting the burner and uh, striking the water I'm mostly doing voice over here because uh, I'm just not that adept at doing the video and doing the beer at the same time at the moment uh, this is my mash ton For a manifold in here, I have the the stainless sink supply with the hose removed. Is the the one that I'm using. Um, videos for that all over all over the YouTube. Um, here's my my grain bill. Is basically eight pounds of two row and four pounds of crystal forty. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty dark beer. Nottingham's what I'm going to use because I'm going to try to uh, ferment around 57 Fahrenheit. I'm going to use this Northern Brewer as a bittering one ounce. Uh, the Fuggle I'm going to use one ounce at 10 minutes, and then I'm going to use one ounce at five. Um, the Cascade I'm going to use three quarters of that at 60, and the last quarter will go in with the 10 minutes. Uh, this is the dry grist. Uh, I had it ground when I was at Northern Brewer in Milwaukee. Um, it already smells good. There's not even water on it. It's, uh, it's the best part of the brew day. Just putting the hot water on there. Here's mash in. Um, stirring it up, making sure I don't have any dough balls. Uh, a little fog on the camera so not really good angle there but uh, going through and making sure that that's all stirred and set good and check the temperature uh, this is fast forward all the way to uh, the first runnings I already lottered it and I put back about three buckets or three pans full before it came started coming clear and then uh, ran my first runnings all the way out um, used Bruce Smith to calculate my my batch barge. Um, my batch barges were all basically identical uh, volumes, and that temperature was 168.5, I think. I think I ended up going to 171 because I heated it all at one time for all three of the sparges. Uh, by the time I got it in there, about 168 is where we were and they're uh, 1.49 or one and a half gallon sparges um, and uh, I'm not going to show all the sparges in the video but basically you put the one and a half gallons in there you re stir it up make sure it's all mixed with the grains good um, let 
let it sit for a couple of minutes to let it settle. Uh, lauder it again, you know, run run a pan through, and make sure it comes clear. Um, each sparge came a little quicker as far as the grain bed settling. It was a little it, quicker to settle. Um, and then uh, run that through. And here is uh, showing I put a little block of wood under the mash tun to get just a little bit more out because this is the, the final batch the last the last running and uh, that would be just about the end and I think I'm gonna measure it I believe I ended up with six and a half gallons pre-boil um, my pre-boil gravity was uh, a little light based on brew smith so my uh, my efficiency wasn't phenomenal this is the first time i've used this whole system so uh, that can that'll get better probably and it was kind of a lower um, mashing temperature so and that was brew smith picked that too so i didn't expect a huge efficiency there um, and the measuring stick back into the star sand and I'll let that go until it just finally stopped. Uh, I'm not sure how much video I shot of it. Okay, and then uh, here's another wonderful video of me uh, lighting my burner. Uh, not that you can actually see it, because I am also the cameraman, so it makes it hard to, to show some of that. I need to get a tripod. And then apparently I thought I needed to get the camera down there you you wouldn't believe there was flame under there unless you saw it um, so this is the beginning of the boil my filthy floor my garage uh, and then we move on to uh, Oh, yeah, we're going to cover it. Yeah, I'm just checking to see that my fermentation chamber is pretty close. This is me not quite putting the lid on because although I do want it to start to boil, I want to be pretty aware. Um, and that's the beginning of the boil and the first uh, the first hop additions, the 60 minute additions. That's the uh, one ounce of the Northern Brewer Whole Leaf and three quarters of an ounce of Cascade Pellet. Um, and that's uh, a little bit, that's not quite the beginning of the hot break. Um, that's coming up here. Uh, that's just me trying to keep the surface tension broke to stop from boiling over. And this is, this is the hot break, uh, trying to get a good hot break in. And I got a pretty good hot break, and then I backed the boil off a little bit after that. Uh, as it turns out later, I probably should have left it a little more aggressive. Uh, here's me uh, bagging up a bunch of these uh, spent grains. I have a couple of recipes I'd like to try. I got a bread recipe, a granola recipe, and a dog treat recipe. And so I'm going to bag up uh, five bags of this. and. Uh, set those aside for now and uh, those go there and then the rest of it uh, goes into a bucket that's going to be composted and uh, there's my uh, 10 minute or my 5 minute addition one or the other and up to a really high rolling boil because uh, checked my volume and I was still pretty high I hadn't really evaporated as much as uh, I thought I might by that point and so I turned it up a bit to get that down, um, letting the gravity fall where it does. Uh, here's my cooling system. Uh, basically, it started with uh, three bags of ice in that water as well. And there's uh, holes drilled in there um, so that the pot won't float. And, uh, and then get it down to temperature pitched my Nottingham yeast, uh, put it in the fridge, taped the probe on it, and uh, although I got a 
couple of bubbles here on the it's a little early, that's probably just the ones when I mixed it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. That was uh, the best I, I could do with the camera work that I had. I need to get my tripod together and uh, maybe bring over somebody to, to help with doing camera work when doing a, a brewing video, I think. Uh, there were a lot of times when it was hard to be doing what I had to do and try to capture it on film, but uh, I did what I could do. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, cheers, 17. Uh, have a nice day.